everyone and welcome to week 6. Had some feedback that previous videos maybe have went a little bit too fast. So Mr. Brown is slowing it down. Listen to that feedback and we'll try and go at a steady pace. Remember, when you're watching these videos at any time, pause, give it a shot, play again, pause. I'm a little bit stuck, let's watch it again. That would be how I recommend. Today, we're on week six, which is fantastic, because we're starting to use um, Chrome for doing some research. So today, we are going to be Googling, so I'm used to use Google to find things. We're going to be changing to see how recent a search has happened, so we can find really new things. We're going to be able to bookmark a page, so we can easily come back to it. And we're going to be able to look for images. Dead easy today. Okay, and we're just going to search for different things, enjoy things we find, share them with our friends, and enjoy that time together. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Chrome. Okay, the easiest way to do that is to click on the Chrome logo at the bottom. It's the one that's circle and has the different Google colors. If you're already in the Google Classroom to see this, we might want to open up a new tab by doing the little plus at the top. And it then comes to this page. It'll have your most recently looked at pages down here. It'll have a nice big search bar where you can click on and you can type what you're looking for and what we're going to use first is we're going to use this little microphone because Mr. Brown is going to ask you to first of all search for five of your favourite animals and I know what you're thinking Mr. Brown I find spelling really hard can you help me? of course I can help you always here to help what we're going to do is like we've done before we're going to click that little microphone Iguana Say the word you're looking for, and it comes up with the results straight away. Here's all these different websites all about iguanas. Now, I want one that's just for kids now, so I, I, I don't want to search for iguanas, I'm going to search for something else. Unicorns for kids. And usually, when we put that for kids by the end, it gets something that's, that's more child friendly. Um, especially when we go down here, there's, there's lots of child friendly things, lots of things for sale. Who would have thought it? Seems like unicorns are very popular just now. What else could I search for? I would search giraffe facts for kids. And this came up with some facts for me. That's a good search. Okay, so we're being more specific. What are we looking for? Get ready to explore the world for some reason, Google keeps talking to me. I don't know what I've done to allow that, but isn't it nice? So, I wonder if I can mute this. I'm going to bunny click up here, and I'm going to click mute site. There's a little bonus lesson, just for those people who are really paying attention. So, those are the ways that we can search. Um, and what I'd like you to do is to maybe search for five different animals. You might want to add the facts for kids on the end. Um, and I'd like you to then share something that you've read, that you've heard. Again, remember we can use all the tools to get to read to us. So if you're not that confident reading, you can use that to help and find out some wonderful things. Pause this now, do that task, come back for the next one. Hello and welcome back! If you just keep watching, that's been a really strange moment. Um, but we are now going to do tools to help us find things that are really recent. So we're going to search for our schools. So Mr. Brown teaches at Athelstan Ford Primary School. So I am going to search for Athelstan Ford Primary School. And you'll see a whole bunch of different things come up there. We are now going to come to the bit that says all filters. And I'm going to click that little arrow. We're not going to go there first. We're going to go to tools. Ignore Mr. Brown. See, we're just learning. We're testing different things out. We're going to go to tools. And you'll see it says any time. Now, I don't want results there any time. I don't want results from 2006. That was before I was even born, Mr. Brown. Oh, Mr. Brown feels very old. But I want things that are more recent. So I want Athelstan Ford from the past year. So I'm going to click past year. And it's going to come up with pages that are more recent. Then what you can do if you want to maybe, first of all, click on a few of these, see what comes up. You still in Courier School Pictures. This is probably going to be pictures from our school's P1, I'm guessing. It's going a bit slow. It might be because lots of pictures are loading up. Wow, there's lots of pictures from lots of different schools. Maybe you can find yours. So, 
we can have a little look, see what's came up with. And um, once you look at our screen, maybe we just look up for our whole village. So instead of being Athelstan Ford Primary School, maybe I just delete that and I just search for Athelstan Ford. Again, you can see it's already changed the past year, but maybe this time I don't want past year. I want past month. Has anything been posted online about Athelstan Ford in the past month? <gasps> our new tennis courts. That's came up. A poem. Wow. Lots of different things. So we're going to have a little play with that. Best of luck. You might want to search some other things. A part of your village, maybe something you're learning in class. And see if you can change it to see the most recent information. Final task today is to use images to find some pictures. I've already searched for Athelstan Ford here. To get an image, a picture, is dead, dead easy. I'm just going to click this images button. Boop. And what's going to happen is all the images of Athelstan Ford are then going to come up. But Mr. Brown, you've got to still set it as a past month. You're right. I don't want to be past month. I want it to be any time. So I can click any time and you'll see that changes and there's suddenly lots of different pictures. For things we're going to do in the future, you might also want to use some of the other tools. So I can click on tools and instead of just being the time, we can change it to be size. So I only want large pictures of Athelstan Ford. And maybe I come to cutler. And I don't just want it to be large, I also want it to be black and white. Oh, wow! This is the old Athelstan Ford from a long time ago. Isn't that fantastic? So, I want you to have a play about that, find some pictures, find something interesting, share it with your teacher, share it with the people in your class. I look forward to hearing how you get on. Thanks, Dan. Bye.